Our first story today comes to you from the beautiful foothills of the Rocky Mountains. Golden, Colorado is located about 15 miles west of Denver. The Colorado School of Mines opened here in 1874 with a focus on the gold and silver industries. Today, there are about 3,300 undergrads here and the ore diggers 18 athletic teams compete in NCAA Division II. The school's mission has grown way beyond gold and silver mining, but how about this for staying in touch with your roots? Today's graduates are still awarded a diploma made out of sterling silver. Another tradition is that mountainside M on this Mount Zion that you see right behind me. It was first displayed 101 years ago. Today's freshmen carry a 10 pound rock up the hill, paint it white and leave it as part of the M until they're invited back as graduates to get their rock. The M was first illuminated in 1931 and last year they went green when the light bulbs were replaced with environmentally friendly LEDs. Speaking of shining lights, David Pesek plays quarterback for the Ore Diggers. Last season, he led the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference in total offense with 244 yards a game and was first team all conference. This year, he started out being honored as the conference preseason offensive player of the year. But David's outstanding work on the football field is only part of his story. Another side was on display in the summer of 2008 in the refugee camp of Barak Ob in the mountains of Afghanistan. I went with a team of guys from my church and uh, we were able to help out a small community just north of Kabul. We helped build a school and a clinic when we were there for the seven days. We um, just kept building relationships with the people. When David approached me about the uh, trip to Afghanistan, I was pretty nervous about it and I don't think he knew exactly what he was getting into and once he got over there he realized how serious the situation was. When we were driving into the community, you could just see the red rocks on the side of the road and that meant there had been landmines found there. So you'd stay away from the red rocks. We got to go to the Air Force Base, the Army Base over there. So that was a really awesome experience to see uh, some of our men and women here serving overseas. And I felt so fortunate to be able to go home a week later and they're there serving for months at a time. It was just one week, but those seven days had a profound impact on David. The engineering major with a 3.0 GPA at one of the toughest schools in America called an audible. I was able to shadow some doctors uh, in some small villages outside of Kabul. And before then, I really had no desire to go into medicine. But after being hands-on with patients in Afghanistan and working with doctors, it really gave me um, sense of accomplishment and seeing that I could really help a lot of people in the world becoming a doctor. Calling an audible is nothing new for the School of Mines quarterback. He is a leader. One thing I noticed about him is he can make changes on the field. Uh, the defense was giving us one coverage, something we didn't expect. Me and him can kind of talk to each other and kind of, you know, relay what we're going to do and figure it out and go out there the next play and drop something that we didn't necessarily practice all week. David is a great leader and uh, he leads by example. Uh, people know on the football team that he really does care about him. It's running gun is the way to do it on the West Coast and it's been uh, a lot of fun as a quarterback to play here. David values the lessons he gets on the field and in the classroom. To balance the workload between uh, school and football is definitely tough. But I was able to uh, utilize different school resources to study and all the teammates would get together Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday night to study for our upcoming test on Thursday and road trips on the bus, we'd be doing homework all the time. Football teaches you everything on and off the field. Um, with school, with your family, everything football can be related and I believe that the leadership I've learned, the time management skills, camaraderie, everything that I've learned in football, I'll be able to carry with the rest of my life. It certainly is a long way from Golden, Colorado to Kabul, Afghanistan, but that faraway land has found a place deep in David Pesek's heart. It's hard to realize sometimes that here in Golden, Colorado is the same world as Kabul, Afghanistan. And the opportunity that I have to succeed as a person and some of the opportunities that some of the children over there have is just such a big difference. I really had no idea what Afghanistan was about, what the people were like. Um, I hardly even knew what language I spoke, but when I got there I fell in love with the country, I fell in love with the people, and realized that um, you know, there's people out there who uh, need help, and even though they're surrounded by wars, uh, they like Americans, and they were so thankful for me to be over there, and uh, it's really, there's a special place in my heart for Afghanistan and for the people of Kabul.
Thanks, David, and good luck this season. And while David sits in the Miners' locker room at halftime, the stadium crowd is entertained by one of the more unusual marching bands in America. The Miners' marching band performs in red and black plaid flannel shirts, hiking boots, and hard hats. On campus, we'll be right back.